Hi there folks, so this is just a very quick video tutorial on trying to open and edit any documents that you might be being set by your teachers in Google Classroom. Obviously this has been a bit of a learning curve for everybody. Um, we appreciate the feedback that you're giving to us in terms of what's working and what's not working. Um, I've been getting quite a few questions around the same sorts of issues, so I'm going to hopefully try and cover those for you just now. If there's anything else that you need, um, obviously just contact me through our class pages, please. So the important thing to realise is when you're using Google Classroom, it might look a little bit different depending on whether you are using a computer, a tablet, um, whether or not you're opening it up on an app on your phone and whether or not that phone is an Android or an Apple device. So the pictures that I've added here might look a little bit different to what you see, um, but most of the things should have enough similarities that means that you can get access to the same parts that we are looking at. So the first thing that you need to do is make sure you're assigning in using your Glow account details. Now, if you don't have your Glow account details, what do you do? Well, we've figured that one out. If you go to the school website as follows, and on the school website, you can see that we have a virtual school now. So if you come into the virtual school tab, which is over here, and come along to access to virtual school. If you have a wee look down here, there's a couple of little guides that will talk you through. Um, if you're still having trouble and you maybe don't have your Glow login or your Glow password, um, if you fill in this form, we'll be able to access that and get back to you with some more specific details. Um, to help you get logged in. Once you are logged in and you've got access to your Google Classroom, you should see the list of the classes that you have been assigned to and any classes which have work to do will look like that. When you click on that particular class, it will open what we refer to as the stream, which is this one down here. So that shows you basically all of the posts and the comments that have been made in the date order, so in the order that they've been put up. If that starts looking a bit complicated as we go through this, you can click on the classwork view and that might um, separate some things out a little bit easier for you. So once you're in the right class, the one that's got work for you to do, um, you can select one of the pieces of work. So you can just click on um, whichever one of these assignments it is that you've not yet done. When you do that, you should see um, any instructions that you've been given by your class teacher. Um, it will tell you your due date and what time it's due for. You will also see some files that you need to complete it, so any attachments. Now, it might be the case that some of these files will have your name in the title. So instead of just saying Growing Plants Summary Sheets, it would say Mrs. Kennedy Growing Plants Summary Sheets. And that means that that's your personal copy of the file. So if it's got your name, it's your personal copy and you should be able to edit that one. So if you've got a purple attachment, that is a Google form. So that's often quite a quick test or a question, um, set of questions set by your teacher to see how well you've understood something. So when you click on that, it'll open up um, either a new page or a new window. And the, the form will look a little bit like that, quite simple, um, usually with your name at the start and then the list of questions that you need to go in and answer. Now they're usually multiple choice questions or quick fill in the blank questions. And there will be spaces for you to put your answers in on those ones. However, you might also have um, attachments which are blue and they'll either be Word documents or Google Doc files. So when you open those, you'll normally be able to see the whole document on your screen. So if that's just one that you just need to read, then you can just read through it like that, maybe zoom in if you need to, um, you shouldn't need to do anything else. However, if it's something that you need to edit, it's a good idea to try and click on probably this little arrow up here. I think on some other devices, it might be down at the bottom or off to the side. Um, but you're looking for something like that, something that suggests you're going to be able to open it separately. Once you've opened it, that will be your copy of the document that's open. 
Now, if you're having any problems at this stage, if you're if you're not seeing that arrow or you're not able to open it when you do click on it, try and install the Google Drive app on your phone and make sure you're logged into that Google Drive app using your Glow username and password. Now, you shouldn't necessarily need to open the Google Drive app um, separately as long as you're you've opened it once and logged into it. When you then log in and use Google Classroom, it'll open some files using that app separately. So that might solve any problems that you're having with getting access to those particular documents. Once the document is open, um, you'll then need to edit it. So as you can see here, just, be, just by me opening that, it's changed the formatting a wee bit, things have moved around a wee bit, but I can still see everything that I need to see. So when we're editing, we then need to find the pencil icon. Again, it's normally down at the bottom of the screen. It might be down in the middle somewhere. I'm not sure if on some Apple devices it might be up at the top. But you're looking for a pencil. You're looking for, a, for something that suggests you can edit it. When you click on that, <coughs> that allows you to make any changes in your document that you need to. And you've got access to all of your different sort of usual editing or typing tools that you would have down here. Once you've made your edits, we then need to save it so that your teacher is able to see it. So again, if you're using an Android device, you can click on the little blue tick up here. As far as I know, if you've got an Apple device, you might need to click on the little dots that are up on the side and there should be a drop down menu that gives you a save option there. So once you've done that, that should then automatically return you to the classroom app. If it doesn't, you can go back into the classroom app, go into the class and underneath those instructions that you saw earlier, um, you'll see your work and anything that you've edited. Um, there might be one or two if you've had to make more than one edit <coughs> and that will be the work that you have completed. So if you want to submit that to your teacher, you're going to click on this button down here which says hand in and that will allow your teacher to be able to see your work and add any corrections. You can, if you've got any other questions on it, um, put a private comment on here. That means that's just between you and your teacher. It's only them that will see it. So if there's anything that you want to ask and you're not sure about, you can answer that in there. If you've not been ha having any luck with getting these documents edited or you want to add a photo of any handwritten work or anything else that you've done, you can click on Add Attachment and that will let you add in any other file that you want. So if you've got a photo on your phone of some work that you've done in your jotter, just hit add attachment and upload that photo. However, you then need to remember to hit hand in afterwards so that your teacher will be able to see it. So I hope that's covered everything that you're kind of struggling with at the moment. Um, as I say, if there's anything else that you're not quite sure about, um, let me know and we'll see if we can do a few more of these videos in order to help you understand what it is that you need to do to get through this. Well done on all of the work that you've done so far. We're all very impressed with you. I hope you're all staying well, healthy and safe at home. Hope to see you soon.